everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. Well, actually, I am back with a whole series of technique videos. So this intro will be used for every video and it will just remind you that this is part of the techniques video series and that the hook and yarn I am using are just chosen for contrast and for me to be able to show you quite clearly what I'm doing. So I am using this hook and this yarn or these colours or whatever I've got here but it is mainly about the technique so I'm hoping that from um, seeing how I'm doing the technique you can then take that to your own project. So I hope you have fun in this series and that you will learn a lot and that some of the things that I always used are explained in these videos. So let's get started. In this video we are going to learn how to make a slip knot. Now the first thing you do when you start crocheting is you have to have that loop on your hook and I am going to show you how I make it. There are many ways of doing it but I find my way is quite an easy way to remember as well. You know if you haven't done crochet for a while and you think oh my dear how am I going to get started this is quite an easy way to remember. So you have your end of your yarn over your fingers like this. You wrap it round your fingers twice, holding the other end here. You now have these two strands. Look at them like this. Take the back one and bring it over the front. The one that then is at the back, you're going to take that and bring that to the front. And you're going to take this one, the back one, and pull that up and you have made your slip knot. This slip knot is now adjustable by pulling this end here. So your end for weaving in will become a little bit longer because you are going to have to make that loop smaller. Let me show you that again. Over your fingers like that. Two strands. Hold on to it. The back to the front, the back to the front, pull up the back remove your fingers, pull it up and there you go, you have your slip knot. And then it curls up of course, yeah? Okay, so very easy to remember, hold it in your hands like this, wrap it round your fingers, bring the backs to the front and the back to the front and then bring the back up and you've made your slip knot. So do have a go at practicing this. Um, like I say, it works with any yarn. Any time you need a slip knot, that is what I do. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.